10 places in Virginia you should never move to by Nick Johnson. We about to get into this fuck nigga. <laughs> Have you never seen this shit though? There's some shit you, you gonna wanna go see type shit. Cause I wanna see, I like seeing what people think about Virginia. <laughs> so the 10, the 10 places in Virginia you should never move to. I'm gonna tell y'all uh, step by step what's the first ones. Virginia, a state that seems to have it all. There's mountains to climb and slopes to ski on and beaches to hang out and Shit. delicious seafood. It's one of the wealthiest and most successful states of all when you measure income levels and education. Wealthiest Some good and people successful all over the state. state. The mountain folk are kind and generous and look out for one another too. And while Old Dominion might seem like a good place for a vacay, it might not be where you want to plant roots. What's up, Jay? Well, at least not in the 10 cities we're going to talk about. We took a lot of data into account when we decided oh, how to nah, rank the worst places like to live a in Virginia. Stuff like crime rates, and unemployment shit. rates, and poverty, and he gonna call education police and more. Instantly. Plus, I took into account <laughs> your opinions, Virginia. That's right, the places <laughs> you guys say are the bad places to live. So while Virginia is for lovers, there's not a lot to love in the places we're gonna Damn. talk about. So it's Let's Virginia begin. for lovers. <laughs> We begin our tour of the worst places to live in Virginia with a stop in South Boston, South Boston. a city with a population of nearly 8,000 people this. located east of Danville on Route 58 in Halifax County. South Boston makes this list, frankly, because its South economy is, is in the tank. The people living here are struggling to make ends meet, sadly, and the future is very not bright in either. Home values are the 14th worst in the state, and the city's unemployment rates nearly 7%. And despite South Boston's small town feel and decent public schools, the city's crime rate so everybody out this bitch ain't got no job. Unemployment is skyrocketed. Damn. It's pretty high. It's way over the state average and way over the national average too. Folks living here have a 1 in 24 chance of being the victim of a one crime. 1 in 24 it's chance not just a crime, of being though. a victim of Drugs a are a huge problem here in South Boston too. Local cops say it's not uncommon to find individuals passed out in their cars or on a sidewalk or alongside the road. So is Come they on, helping South the, the community or not? Nah? To the mountains we go for number nine on our list. Welcome to Richland, number nine, Richland. a small city of about 5,300 people. It's located way, way I'm out in the middle of nowhere along a winding road places, known as bro. Route 460. Richland, Richland don't is even also sound struggling like economically, like with just over 8% of its residents out of work and the second worst home values in the state. Seriously, when homes are priced around 85K each, you know there isn't much demand to live here. I mean, it's pretty up here, and if you want some space and don't need much in terms of entertainment, it's okay. And it's not just the low incomes or the cheap homes that make this city undesirable. Richlands has some of the Richland worst schools in Virginia. Schools. In fact, the public it's schools here get the least amount of funding in the state. And it shows. 25% of adults living here never earned a high school diploma. Hey, is it me or do he, or he got like this little sarcastic as undertone to him? Like, he kind of being snobby with this shit. Like, he wouldn't live in none of these places. They just shit places. This story is much the same at our next stop, number eight, number eight Marion. Marion. This small city of about 5,700 people is wedged in the Allegheny Mountains on I-81. Marion has a slightly lower city? unemployment rate than Richland's at about 7%, but the people are really poor and the home values are still awful, the fifth worst in the state, and the public schools are still way Who underfunded. The hell wanna live so why is Marion a worse place to live than Richland's? Crime. The city has an overall crime rate that's 129% higher than Virginia's average and way higher than the U.S. average. If you live here, you have a 1 in 22 I mean, chance of being a victim of crime. Of course the Pretty scary, be considering the small population. I mean, you're going to know who done it. Marion. Get this. Marion's nicknamed America's coolest hometown. And we agree. If they're talking about the weather, Marion has some of the coldest temperatures in the state. The Aside from that, Marion though, there's cool. really nothing that cool about Marion. Unless who, you like crime, come from poverty, there? and private like, schools. Some ass Sorry, or something. Marion. At number seven, we moved to the southwestern section of the state to Roanoke. Number seven. A much bigger city with a population of 100,000 people. Now, if you're an outdoor enthusiast, you may have your eye on Roanoke. It was once called one of the top mountain biking destinations in the world. It's really close to the Appalachian Trail. Okay, but you may Roanoke want to pump those brakes. Roanoke also comes with like its own share of problems, including shit. a flat economy, high crime, and subpar school system. Yeah, Seriously, no the unemployment rate here is over 6%, and about 1 in 5 people here fall below the poverty line. Not to mention, the local crime rate comes in almost double the U.S. standard. If you live in Roanoke, you have a 1 in 21 chance of being the victim of a crime. So if you move up here to mountain bike, you sure might want to lock that bike up at night. 
So the most crime that's probably going on in Roanoke is bike stealing. Who the fuck? So as you like, and when when he's saying these crimes, like what crimes exactly? Like is it like murder? You feel me? Car accident, car thefts. You feel me? Break ins. Man, he gotta make this shit more detailed. Like don't just say it's crime. Alright, what we got? At number six, located in the south central part of the state, along the North Danville. Carolina border, is Danville. I heard of some Danville. Home to over forty-one thousand people. Now, a lot of people say Danville's the worst place to live in the state, and they'd have a good argument. While it used to be one of the richest cities in the area, Danville struggled since its tobacco and textile mills shut down a few decades ago. The local economy only supports a median income of over thirty-seven thousand dollars. Nine percent of people are out of work. And those numbers are terrible for Virginia. Crime here is also a problem. Danville's Some crime rates problems. way above the state average yeah. and so way rich. above the national average too. If you live here, Virginia, you'd have about a one in twenty bad. chance of being a victim of a crime. And while it's not all bad in Danville, I mean the city has a rich history and it's trying to revitalize its downtown area. Do you really want to live in one of Business Insider's top fifty most miserable cities? I don't. All these places I don't see people want to move to anyways, like. He said that's all miserable. What makes it miserable though? That's what I want to know. Like, cause if you somebody that just like living, you ain't really into a lot of shit. But... We have to travel about two hours east to get Emporia. to our next stop. And ain't Number nobody, four. ain't nobody doing nothing in Emporia besides driving past that motherfucker so they don't get stopped and don't get arrested. Every time I done drove through Emporia with the guys or even with somebody, even myself, niggas got pulled over. I ain't recommending nobody moving no damn Emporia. Located on the North Carolina border, again, is we Emporia. Don't know shit about the that population place. of just What's over 5,400 people. I think we're starting to see a pattern here. Most of the worst places to live in Virginia are in the mountains or on the southern border. Hell yeah. Emporia is best known for two things, race cars and speeding tickets. That's right. Race the cars and speeding Speedway tickets. It's just about 20 minutes outside of town, and NASCAR brothers Elliot and Ernie Sadler were born and raised in the city. As for the speeding ticket part, Emporia is located at US 58 and I-95, and it's widely considered the most notorious speed trap in Virginia. So they claim so it's down, a speed trap. Emporia is one of the least populated cities in the state of Virginia. You got a city? For some people, a that's a good thing. Trap? But it's also one of the poorest, too. You can more see than police running around, of residents around are unemployed. And those who have jobs earn under 27000 a year. One in four people don't have a job. And for a city this small, the crime is outrageous. Emporia's crime rate is far above the state average, like almost double. Bro, it's if you live Virginia. here, you have a 1 in 22 chance of being the victim of crime yourself. In Virginia, yourself. you're going to have to have a job, sell a little drugs, do a little scamming. You feel me? Might got to do a little hell, sell a little pussy. You're going to have to do some of that type of shit in Virginia. like Not just Emporia, it's the whole of Virginia. What's up, Genesis? I got to come record with you. Next at number four is Galax, Galax, a small town of about 6,500 people located All in these the places Appalachia that they region of the state. Small Here we go again. Now, if you like small towns and mountain scenery and old time music, Galax may be Galax. the perfect place to plant roots. But before you go buying any property, listen up. Home values in Galax are some of the lowest in the state, about $100,000, which is good, right? But the unemployment rate is one of the highest. 12 percent of so folks you want to duck off work. and go one of these Those small towns and you got some bread a year which you can is do well that. below the poverty yeah, line for a family it might be boring and it's shit the to be out there nobody out there and then there's a crime you can do that you have a one in 25 chance of being the victim like of a that. crime here and sure I most of the crimes here aren't violent straight off usually people give me a nice little big little crib but if you have nice things you may want to steer clear of gala not to mention if you're not into exploring the outdoors you have to drive pretty far for some fun this if you like are into exploring the outdoors, the weather here is usually pretty crummy for half the year. Like but hey, at least there's the Galax Smokehouse like with its award-winning barbecue. Angular. Booyah! So niggas just in Galax, they just stealing shit. I'll go there for some barbecue. Next on our list, at number three is the coastal city of Portsmouth, 
which nearly 94,000 oh, people got call home. Portsmouth. Portsmouth is part of the Hampton Roads area, and it's on the western side of the Elizabeth people, River, of directly across from Let's Norfolk. See why everybody say it's this home to a so naval wretched. shipyard and a naval medical center. While Portsmouth is full of history and beauty, it's also full of problems. Folks living in Portsmouth, on average, earn about $23,000 a year. And that's if they're lucky enough to find a job. $23,000 a year to live in? That's all Portsmouth people making? Holy shit. No wonder it's so poverty stricken if they talk about $23,000 a year. Yo, you can make more working at McDonald's. The public school system is one of the lowest rate in the area and home values are dropping. People here say there's not much to do. They have to travel to Norfolk or Virginia Beach for entertainment and that results in tunnel tolls and sitting in traffic. No thanks. And with battleships in your backyard, you might feel safe, but don't be fooled. Portsmouth is actually the most dangerous city in Virginia, ranking number one in both violent and property crime, with an overall crime rate three times higher than the state average, folks. People living here have about a one in a hundred chance of being the victim of a violent crime. Not just any crime, we're talking like an attack, a robbery, or a damn murder, son. Nick, we're from the hood, bro. That's regular to us. I know it might not be regular to you white rich motherfuckers, but to us, that's regular. I keep telling y'all about this little sarcastic, slick, hating undertone. It's like, don't look down on us because we got to live there, Nick. Who is Nick anyways? Portsmouth. I'm rocking with y'all. When I used to style Portsmouth, we ain't had no break-ins or no shit like that. But it's definitely a ratchet in the city. Like, it got some good parts to it, too, though. I can definitely see if people make it $23,000 a year, I can see why it's hella popular. Though. At number two on our list of the worst places to live number in Virginia two, is Petersburg. Petersburg. This city of about 31,000 people is located about 20 miles south of Richmond, and it was the site of a famous Civil War battle. And while folks here are proud of their history, there's not much else to be proud of, I don't think. Petersburg suffers Petersburg. from a tanking economy, with nearly 12% of its residents out of work, and it has the third worst unemployment rate in the state. You can snatch up a historic home for not much money, but that's about the only plus. The school system's dismal, and the city recently came close to being bankrupt. The crime is through the roof, too. Pretty scary. And while there are some decent restaurants and great antique stores in town, you're going to have to leave Petersburg for anything else fun to do. If anybody tells you the city's on its way up, they've been saying that for decades. It never happens. I ain't gonna lie. I kind of agree with that. I can't name nobody who'd be like, oh, I'm going to Petersburg. And I'm going to go kick it out Petersburg or shit to do out Petersburg. Most of the people I know in Petersburg get their money and get gone. Or if they do or they from Petersburg, they stay there because that's their place. Not a place I want to be, though. Number, and number one, one on our list, my city. worst place to live in Virginia is Newport News. What? Definitely More like bad, bad news. news, right? Even folks who live here call it that. Why we call it bad news, though? I never ask that question. I never ask my older people either. Like, why we call it bad news? If it's Newport news, why we call it bad news? And why everybody else, like every state else, if you say like, "Oh, I'm from Newport news," they instantly be like, "Like the cigarettes?" Yes, nigga. Newport, not Newport shorts, nigga. Newport news. I think they're right. The city has a population of about 180,000 people. It's he located on the peninsula too. side of the Hampton Roads in the Tidewater region. He's right by 36. Newport News is a big military town and home to a state war museum, but the real fighting's happening on the city streets. Newport had the fourth highest overall number of murders per person in the state and ranked ninth in the category of violent crime overall. He said no. Folks living here had about a 1 in 167 chance of being the victim of violent crime. The city's known for gangs, drugs, and assaults, and folks Newport living here News say they hear gunshots and police sirens here every single night per play the game. Gunshots, fireworks. Aside from crime, the schools are average but poorly funded. The road maintenance is almost non-existent and people complain about the traffic and the bad drivers. And if that wasn't enough, is there really anything to do here for Definitely fun? Definitely going to hear some gunshots or and police sirens. So that's it. The worst places to live in Virginia. For some people, the mountain towns are charming and they're perfectly <laughs> happy this, despite the poverty and crime. Well, that's great. There's a perfect place for everybody. Now, if you're looking for the best places to live in Virginia, sadly, they're all going to be the snobby areas outside of the D.C. metro area. But it's all very safe and quiet, and people have good jobs and good neighborhoods up there. So if you live up there, 
Go out to some All fancy, right. snobby yeah, DC restaurant. Nigga. Celebrate. Get some fuck pure country ham Yo, while you're Nick, at it. Gotta tap in, man. Come tap in with the real goat. I'm gonna take you to the places where you can see them and you know we lit. It ain't just all poverty and fucked up how you think it is, Nick. Let me take you to the hood. I'll show you. You can come to the cookouts. We're gonna invite Nick to the cookout. Nick, you pull up to the cookout with me. Ain't nothing gonna happen. I'm gonna show you how the city really give it up. But 10 places in Virginia you should never move to. Nick Johnson, we not banning you, but you gotta do an updated work, updated version. Cause this nigga is low-key a hater.